Hello and welcome to another update video about the DXY. DXY is currently finding some support in our support area down here in this trend reversal area, but it still has quite a bit of work to do to convince us that it has bottomed here. So we're going to take a look at that in this video. Um, wave count unchanged to two previous videos. We have two scenarios. We have um, a main scenario which sees the DXY to head down lower, possibly into the low $90 region. Within this scenario, there is a short-term bearish scenario with where the DXY would take the more direct path and a scenario in which we can see a larger bounce into the $108 region possibly before we see that move down. So this is currently what we what we deal with here. Um, first of all, let's take a look at the more direct path. I'm going to show it to you with a red line. So the idea is that obviously in September 22, price topped or the DXY topped here and came down in five waves in an A wave. We topped in a B wave locally. Uh, so we're looking here at an ABC correction and the move down in a C wave has started as a wave one, a wave two. Yeah, and now it's getting interesting because that could be a third wave down, a fourth wave and a fifth wave. This is the direct path, in my opinion, will gain in probability below our 78.6 retracement level. So a break below 101.64 would confirm that further and would ultimately confirm that if price breaks below $100. 85 those swing lows which have been made on the 2nd of feb 13th of april and 4th and 5th of may this is the direct path i have my doubts about it um because price doesn't really come down impulsively okay so i am in favor of a larger bounce at this stage there are also two scenarios which actually give the possibility of a larger bounce the scenario would be as follows. We just need to change two things here. In this scenario, yes, price formed a lasting top in September. We came down in five waves. However, would count it slightly differently. So would have a five wave move down here into the April low as an A wave. Now we're doing a B wave like this. A wave, B wave, C wave. In this support region highlighted in yellow, we should see a bounce to the upside. I'm going to zoom in. So this is the support region where we would form a B wave low. Um, however, it needs to hold really 101.64 to be a reliable low. And then we could look forward to a C wave rally to the upside in a larger B wave. And then the decline starts afterwards. But the condition here would be to hold 101.64 and even more important would be to hold the 101.80 level. $100.80 level. Yeah. Um, the thing is, in this scenario where we get a larger bounce, it's also possible to count the B wave as a triangle. So that we deal with, okay, A wave bottomed here, then A, B, C, D, E, and that this B wave actually unfolds as a triangle and we come down then. So ultimately that means we have three scenarios in which price should eventually head down lower. The question is just how large of a bounce do we get? And um, yeah, I guess it all depends really on that 101.64 level. So, so far, for me personally, I cannot really confirm to you at this stage that price has bottomed here in the B wave. Yeah, it, it has more work to do to confirm that to me. Um, it just doesn't look great at this stage. But yeah, surely the uptrend could have started here. But I, I would have more confidence if we break above that last swing high at 103.16. Um, also, the... Um, yeah, no, that, that, that's I think the, the key message here. Obviously, a break above the what I have labeled as A wave high at 104.70 would give further consideration and confirmation to that C wave, which is rallying. And then we can also calculate a target. 
just based on the length of the A wave, go to the low of the last low, and then we're looking for roughly the 1.618 extension at $108. That's my update about the DXY. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.